He's Muhammad Wilkerson, Pro Bowler of the New York Jets from Temple by way of Linden, New Jersey, which is across the Gothels Bridge from where I grew up on Staten Island, New York. How are you, Muhammad? What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing fine. Did you watch that Boca Raton Bowl last night, Muhammad? Yeah, I caught the end of it, man. I just heard you about, uh, talk about well, what the call that the ref made. That was a bad call. And so what do you think? I mean, what, so you thought that you, Temple got jobbed in the uh, Boca Raton Bowl? I, I think it should have been Temple Bowl. Okay. There you go. Hey, congratulations on the Pro Bowl. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate it. You bet. What does this mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great accomplishment. Uh, you know, it's first of my career, but uh, I wouldn't be able to make it with it for my coaches and teammates, of course. Aha! Because you think you're playing in the big game. Is that what you're saying? We're going to take it one game at a time. We got, uh, you know, the Patriots coming up, tough game, division, you know, division opponent. So take care of Sunday first before anything. I right, bet. What does Jet? What does Patriots Week mean around there right now, Muhammad? What does that mean? Uh, really, it's just another game for us. That's the next opponent that's up. Uh, like I said, you know, it's a division opponent. We have a lot at stake. Uh, of course, we're not looking ahead, but uh, we're just going to take care of, you know, New England first and, you know, whatever happens after that, you know, move forward. Well, I mean, I, I know you you take it one game at a time, et cetera, et cetera, and this is just another game, but certainly in the previous administration with Rex, uh, was that the case? Because it always seemed to us that uh, Jet Patriot Week, when Rex was in charge, that sort of a red-letter situation. Muhammad. Well, I mean, uh, everybody knows, uh, you know, Rex and, you know, his characteristics about things. But, uh, you know, Coach Todd is, you know, he's a, a guy that, you know, just taking one game at a time, but, you know, a different approach than Rex did. And you know, that's what everybody's buying into. Yeah. What, what, how different is the approach between the two coaches? Uh, just, you know, pretty much just being sound about everything and, you know, just not putting a lot of pressure on yourself. And, you know, just like I said, taking one, you know, one game at a time and, not getting too high on wins and low, you know, lows on when we have losses. You know, we had a, you know, a little rocky start. We had some, you know, good wins in the beginning, and then we lost a couple of games. But those were mistakes that we made ourselves, and we by watching film and knowing what we did wrong, we kind of, you know, moved forward from that, and you know, and got away and been playing some good ball. Lately. So we just got to make sure we stay on track. With what that. is what is Coach Bowles like behind the scenes? Uh, pretty much just what everybody see during game day. Not too, you know too many emotions on his face, you know, but uh, you do get to get a crack of a smile out on him sometimes here and there. Okay. Who's the one who cuts him up? Is there somebody who cuts him up more? Like, who can make him laugh? Is that uh, you? A couple of different guys, but, uh, you know, he also gets on us, too, where, you know, we might have some couple mistakes or something like that in practice, or we're not bringing enough energy or juice in practice. He does, you know, that's when he starts to switch up and, you know, raise his voice a little bit. Mm-hmm. Muhammad Wilkerson of the New York Jets, a pro bowler from the New York Jets, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. What what is Ryan Fitzpatrick's play meant to this team, in your estimation? It means a lot. Um, he's a you know very savvy, savvy veteran. Um, you know I even played against him while he was with Buffalo. So um, you know what he's been doing here and with the weapons that we have, you know um, all those guys on the offensive side of the ball are you know producing very well and and doing what they're supposed to do. You know I mean I'm glad to have Ryan on this team, and I'm glad, you know, he's the things that he's doing for us and helping us win games. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I, just knowing what, what's been there since you've been there in 2011, uh, this is clearly the best offense the Jets have had in terms of just the, the talent and the way that they're executing on the field. Would you agree with that assessment? I would agree. Uh, you know, with the running game we got and then the weapons that we have on the outside, and, you know, like I said, in the way, you know, Ryan is playing, you know, good ball. You know, uh, you know, the offensive side of the ball has definitely, uh, you know, improved a lot. Mm -hmm. And what about your contract situation, Muhammad? How have you been able to play and just keep your head down, uh, knowing obviously a big payday is coming, but uh, without any long-term security? What has that been like for you this year? Uh, pretty much, you know, just worried about just doing my job and, you know, having fun with my teammates. And uh, that's about it. You know, the contract situation will be taken care of during the offseason and, you know, uh, it's a business, so whatever happens, you know, with it, you know, that's what it is. But I, I imagine it, you know, being from Linden, New Jersey, playing your games where you are, your coach is from Elizabeth, which is darn near next door. I mean, this is, this is, uh, this is your home. Would you not agree with that assessment? I would agree. I would agree. You know, it's home for me. But at the end of the day, like I said, it's a business, and I know things can be differently, you know, at times. So, you know, we'll see when that, that you know, when that time happens. Who's the guy on the defensive line that, uh, that 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 can, you think, get after the quarterback the best? Take yourself out of it. Who else on that defensive line? Take Give myself out of it. Uh, I would have to say um, Sheldon. Sheldon and uh, 
you know, Snacks is, you know, getting pressure. And we got the rookie, you know, Leonard. He's playing the, you know, some good ball lately. He's getting better each and every week. Mm-hmm. And uh, we still got, uh, you know, Calvin Pace, who's a veteran, who's still, you know, playing good ball for us. And another rookie with Malden. So we have many different guys, but not just myself. Many different guys that can rush the pass. Did Leonard get a car? Because he was only using a skateboard to get around campus when he lived out here in Southern <laughs> California. Yeah, 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 young pup, he got his license and everything, so he got a car now, yeah. He dro- he got a driver's license, finally. Yeah. Would right. you would you trust him driving? Would you sit shotgun with him, Muhammad? Um, no, I wouldn't trust him, no. <laughs> I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> I love it. See, you got I, this is this is why we ask the questions. What is it like in the trenches? We already saw what it's like outside with Odell Beckham and Josh Norman on display. What is it like in the trenches in the National Football League about what 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 sort of trying to get in other people's heads, Muhammad? Uh, I think in the trenches, you know, that's where the dirty work goes on. I think uh, offensive, offensive linemen, D linemen, uh, that's what we like to do. You know, we like to try to overpower people and you know pretty much be the bully. So, uh, you know, um, I know me and my guys, we we enjoy you know doing our job. All right, listen, Muhammad, congratulations on the uh, the Pro Bowl, um, the Pro Bowl. Uh, uh, vote and the getting into the Pro Bowl and and good luck to you. You know, if, if you're chosen by Michael Irvin, call me. I'll let you know what your coach is going to be like. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me. You Appreciate got it. it. You bet. That's Muhammad Wilkerson at Mo Wilkerson on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. <laughs> 